Hello everyone, happy Friday. Can you believe another week has gone by and um, God has just continuously been proving to us that he is with us. And I love that scripture in the Bible that says that he will never leave us and never forsake us. He will be with us always. And um, there's no better way that I could think of ending this week by just sharing with you some of the good things that God is doing for us and in this kingdom. And I know you will be blessed and encouraged today by these answers to prayer. A man hadn't been feeling well and one was unable to keep food down. But a few hours after prayer, he was feeling a lot better and doing good. Thank you so much for the prayers. Hallelujah. A sister has been talking to agents at her electric company about an issue she's been having, and every time she calls, she testifies to the person who answers. She has been able to encourage one agent that is a Christian a couple of times because her calls keep being directed to her. This sister is excited and said, I guess my ministry is now the electric company ministry. <laughs> Isn't that great? There are so many ways we can reach people right where we are. Isn't that true? No matter where we find our situation to be in, we have to take those opportunities to encourage others and pray with others and uh, just let them know that that we're going to make it through this. Aren't we? We're going to make it through this. And, you know, sometimes we know that, but it's okay. And it's awesome to be able to share that with other people. We have a hope. A lady had to go in for emergency testing last week. She was very apprehensive because they were concerned it was something serious. But after prayer, the test results came back clear and they think the problem was just caused from a medication that they have now taken her off of. Thank you everyone for praying. Thank you Jesus for answering prayer, hallelujah. A lady called with a great answer to prayer. She had persistent infections in her legs, but after prayer, the infections are now gone. Hallelujah for that. The Bible says, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace in time of need. Today, that is what we need to do. We need to go to that throne boldly, make our petitions known, and God is going to shed his grace and answer prayer. Thank you. Thank you for praying. Keep it up. God is moving and uh, keep calling those answers to prayer in so we can encourage everyone and uh, strengthen our faith. It's something about hearing the goodness of God that strengthens us. It takes away our, our fear because we have to build up and put these wonderful things into us and know that God is on our side. If God be for us, who can be against us? God bless you today.